Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1749, where we have 30 moves to collect 14 stripes, 12 chocolate, and 46 blue candies. So I've got 12 chocolate on the board, but they're wrapped up in licorice. If I could clear all of these out at once, I wouldn't need any more. But if I don't clear them out at once, they will grow and um, probably make it difficult for me to make uh, my stripes and other things. And I don't have a very good setup on this board. So what I'm going to do is exit and re-enter because I know I can do this over and over and I don't lose any lives. And if I were to bring in boosters, I wouldn't lose any boosters either. See, look, this is such a better setup now. I can make a stripe right away. I'll almost make a color bomb, but not quite. I could try to make a raft because a raft would be more potent in some respects, but I'm just going to go for the stripe, this general stripe here. We've got this portal system, so it's allowing me to cruise this through. I'm going to go ahead and take out these stripes here, or these uh, licorice locks here, because I think that's important, although it's going to allow the, the chocolate now to be able to bloom and grow. I don't like that so much. But if I can just keep making these specials, Look at that. Oh, I don't think I can make a color bomb, so let's do this. So now all chocolate is opened up. If I can take out chocolate, that's what I want to do. If it weren't for the portal system, I would try to make a color bomb. I'm going to do this with a stripe and see what happens. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. We're clearing this area out. Oh, could I take all of this out? I can't see a way to set off that purple stripe. Huh. I'm just going to start going for the stripes now, because the stripes are going to be helping me with my order fulfillment and also hopefully helping me to clear out the chocolate. I have no more need for any of that chocolate. But it also doesn't seem to be harassing me too much. Uh, it looks like I don't need to worry too much about the blue either. The blue is almost gone. So it's just stripes. Let's see. Got a lot of orange. There we go. Orange worked into a stripe. Maybe I can get a red through here. No. I still need eight stripes and I only have 12 moves. That's not looking great for me. And I can't get a color bomb there. Because, of course, if I could get a color bomb and match it with a stripe, that would be perfect. If I can't make a stripe or set up a stripe, I'll take out a stripe. Because I need not only to create them, I need to collect them as well. Oh, yuck. And if I can't do any of that, I'll make uh, chaos moves to try to encourage cascading because the cascading can create some specials. I almost got a color bomb there. Uh, that was going to be attached to a stripe. All right, I have to remove a color to concentrate things down. I'm going to remove orange because I've got that stripe off in the corner and I might not be able to reach it otherwise. I need three stripes. I've got two on the board. And I've only got two moves left. Come on, cascading. Yeah. No good moves. I'm going to do this to create chaos. Oh, that was so close. Well, now we know what to do. We started with a, a strategy, and it worked out quite well, minus a couple of stripes. But at least we know what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to look for a setup that gives us 
a good opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and I'm going to go back out and in over and over until I can find something that works and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we're going to start with this one because we have a stripe. And we're going to look for ways to set it up with um, one of these rows here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I don't have a lot of red on the board, but I have some. If I try to get more, I could just ruin everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but I don't have any along here. I need to try to ruin it. <laughs> or chance ruining it, I should say. Okay, so now I'm no longer set up next to the red. But now I am. But I still don't have any red along here. But I have purple. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red versus one, two, three, four, five, six purple. But the purple is aimed, well, one of them is aimed well. I don't think it's good enough. I think I can do better. So now I've got a red aimed here and a red aimed here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With one aimed here plus some over here. This is the time to go for this. We did not get a lot of chocolate open, but we still have two other stripes to make, and we've been successful in getting the chocolate open by other means. There we go. All right, so one stripe and nine chocolate. Let's see. It would be a shame if I couldn't get one more stripe, wouldn't it? That would be sad. There we go. Oh no, that's a collarbone. That's not even a stripe. Okay, but color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. There we go. All right, we were able to make a lot of color bombs on this one. I like that. There's my chocolate. There's my stripes. So that's how I beat this level. That was my fourth attempt, by the way, including, um, you know, trying to set up a good situation somewhere. I even started with a color bomb and, um, you know, an ability to make a color bomb right away. So it's a bit tricky, a bit fussy, but eventually you'll get there. Just pay attention to the fact that the portal system is going to change things more drastically than you realize. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.